Through our ongoing monitoring and testing programme, as of 9am today, I can report that 640,792 tests of coronavirus have now been carried out in the UK, including 28,760 tests yesterday. 148,377 people have tested positive. That's an increase of 4,913 cases since yesterday. 16,411 people are currently in hospital with coronavirus in the UK, down from 17,049 yesterday. And sadly, of those in hospital with the virus, 20,319 have died. That's an increase of 813 fatalities since yesterday. As the deaths caused by this terrible virus pass another tragic and terrible milestone, the entire nation is grieving. My deepest sympathies and condolences go to those who have lost loved ones. And I would like to pay tribute to the selfless frontline workers who have been struck down by this virus. Their exceptional public service and sacrifice will not be forgotten. You have fostered a spirit of national unity that is helping us to get through this challenging time. The action we are collectively taking is working and your sacrifices are undoubtedly saving lives. We know that people are frustrated, but we are not out of danger yet. It is imperative that people continue to follow the rules designed to protect their families, their friends and their loved ones. This will continue to save lives. We all want to return to live in our lives as normally as possible. And of course, as soon and as safely as we can. And that is what the entire government is working towards. But the five tests we have laid out must be met before we can ease these life-saving restrictions. We must be sure that we can continue to protect the NHS that there is a sustained and consistent fall in the daily rates of death, that the data shows the rate of infection decreases, that the operational challenges are met, and, of course, that there is no risk of a second peak of infections. Until then, we all have a role to play in pulling our country out of this crisis. So I urge you all to stay strong and embrace that spirit of national unity by continuing to follow the advice to stay at home, to protect the NHS and save lives.